In this tool, I want to demonstrate uh, MBT stat and how you can run this tool against the remote target and the information that uh, you can gain or insight or advantage you can gain from running this type of tool across the network. So we're going to run the command MBT stat, the capital A, against our target, which is 192.168.92.131. Okay, in just a couple seconds, it'll come back and says NetBIOS remote machine name table it has the specific names in here these uh, two binary code identifiers these actually can be uh, very significant information you would want to research these uh, against the Microsoft website and determine the values of them but these numbers do mean things the type if it's unique or group and the status that it's registered in the network and also the MAC address of our target. This is now the, we've seen this reference for MAC address, several tools have the MAC address of your target. Okay, so that's a basic overview of what you get when you run a MBT stat against a target. Now let's just do a brief overview of MBT stat. Okay, so we're gonna just run the help option on it, MBT stat space forward slash help. And it, you can get the overview of the tool here, but specifically, uh, if you're new to running command line tools, you want to get an idea of exact, exactly how to construct your command. And so this section is probably the most valuable because it basically says you run the name of the tool, then the dash A, so dash A is the uh, list the remote machine's name um, where the capital A is for the IP address. And an easy way to remember that um, is capital A, A is capital, uh, and then also IP is capital. So capital A, capital IP address, right? So you can connect those two together. Um, and if A is just regular name, and the case of the character A in name is also a lowercase. Um, and you could run through these. You can change this command. You, you could change the structure of the command. If I, in the previous command, if I just wanted to um, change the capital A to a lowercase a, I certainly could do that. And in this case, it's not going to be too much different. Um, so let's go back to the help. Uh, I could do a dash C. And this is how you learn a tool. You know, you kind of want to go through each one of these and, and get the idea of just how this tool functions. In this case, there is no cache. So the if you notice, I'm uh, just hitting the up arrow and enter and then up arrow and enter. And I keep getting the help file. So there's nothing in the cache at the moment or else it would display. And then an N. N is for the list of local NetBIOS names. Okay. Again, nothing in there. Dash R, okay, no re no re results there. Dash capital R, reload. Dash S for sessions, and dash lowercase s for session. In this case, nothing there. Okay, so the only one that I get anything out of in this case, if I just run through the list, is an MBT stat A. So in the grand scheme of things, that just tells you how popular the MBT stat A is versus anything else. Um, now, if I was documenting this uh, for a case file, I would actually run through each example of that and copy the, uh, the output of nothing or the help file to each uh, respective part in the report. Okay. So capture the fact that you actually did it multiple times. You just don't write out, um, you know, nothing else found. That's the, that's the, the easier, the lazy way out. You actually have to prove what you did and the response from that for each instance of that throughout your reporting. So that way it's very thorough. And it's also helpful to actually do this in Word because then you can highlight the important ones and, you know, maybe rearrange it in order where you say uh, the following uh, all returned no result. And then, you know, that way at the top of your list in the report, you actually have the important stuff in the bottom of the list. You have the anomalies, but nonetheless, you have it all for documentation. So that's an overview of NBT stat, how to capture the information, how to document it, put it in your pen testing reports, so that way you write good reports. So my name is Leo Drager. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Twitter.